used to hearing that voicemail of yours. Dropped you a pin. Wanna come through? Hey, Uncle Aaron. What? Too busy to visit your fam? Nah. I was just giving you space after you got out. Don't need it. Besides, we gotta settle some things. We do? See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Miles. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me they're planning something big. Another disaster befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to blame? In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authorities. And completely botched it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known about this new collective, other than their penchant for animal skins. But one thing is abundantly clear. The spider did nothing to impede them. Had law enforcement been allowed to do their jobs, these criminals wouldn't be in the way. Looks like we have an eyewitness calling in. Caller, you're live. Hi, Jonah. Thanks for having me. Just want to point out that what you're saying is a total lie. Here we go. I was there on the pier. Law enforcement was completely outmatched. The Spider-Men saved countless lives and almost stopped those bow and arrow geeks, too. First, you're lucky to be alive. Second, let me ask you, just this week alone, can you guess how much property damage those vigilantes are responsible for? No, but that's not the issue here. I don't have time to get into a circuitous whataboutism argument when there are costumed criminals reducing our city to rubble on a daily basis. Think of all the shipping delays we're gonna face because of this. When you can't shave because your favorite cream is trapped in shipping hell, make sure you thank the Spider-Man. Time for the bureaucrats to do their job. We need action. And also, a word from our sponsors. You really gotta do this with the mask on? Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look.
cute. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on? Our school, college, anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. <laughs> looking for just use your eyes nephew uploaded some prowler code into your mask when I swiped it of course you did the stash stays hidden until it detects the code for myself Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Don't cheat. Take your time. Another gate. Sweet. Can't pull it open from down here. Decent problem. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Inside? Yo, this is next level, man. Hit this whole room in plain sight. Got it. You want to finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep them. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. Listen. 
But this isn't the only stash. Unk. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. Don't want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay. I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. Wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. <laughs> Oye, Miles. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con... Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Está para ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. ¿Y cómo está él? Está trotando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe we'll find Lee while I'm at it. Maybe I can snap a few pics for Robbie. technology program in the state and I heard he's talking scholarships I have so many questions for him be there soon Seems pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee. Or the gang that took him. Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me. Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from NJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this Foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader, some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Everything okay? 
We were about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely! Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. I was wondering what this place was. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place... Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... We got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, Gene. I just checked in on Dan and Annie. Here, follow me. Welcome to Ada does not cross tabs with the AI learning we did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. A carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and- You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete.
Let's go. Now up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work. Using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. Dr. Washington, your lab supplies have arrived. Please dial operation. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites contain organic knowledge. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder how it ended up here. Hey, come on. Number theory is cool. I mean, are they though? So much to see here. Where do I even start? Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. Well, I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here! The need for medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. An innovative solution uses 3D printing technology to create custom... I, I know the numbers for the... Welcome to entomology. Drones? Yeah, uh, doing a little cross-collaboration between the energy lab and the Argo... Cultural lab. Ultralight drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data, too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Beehives show complex group decision-making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily Mink family has discovered that specific changes in the Did you do the XRF analysis? What if I needed a higher resolution spectrometer? Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. How long was your commute today? Two hours. So put your way back helmet on and think back. I've got Even before high school. In middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? The stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gribor, Mendel, and pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? 
No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole